Chairman of the League Management Company, LMC, Shehu Diko, who announced the decision, described the news of the passage of the Lobby Stars coach as a grave loss to the league and hundreds of players he trained in over two decades of his career as football coach in our league. Ogbede reportedly slumped and died Monday morning shortly after complaining of feeling unwell in McCurdy, hours before their last home fixture of the season. Dicko said the LMC would go to lengths to honour those who have contributed in any capacity to the development of the league. In addition to the black armbands, a minute silence will be observed before kick-off at all the match venues in honour of the veteran coach, Dicko stated. Our thoughts are with his immediate family, with players and staff of Lobby Stars and with all the players he impacted the careers, the LMC boss continued. The late coach guided Lobby Stars to the group stage of this year's CAF Champions League after the club was declared winner of the 2017-18 NPFL. He joined the club in 2017 and has prior to then had worked with Julius Berger, the defunct Niger Doc, Murray Wolves and Sunshine Stars amongst others. Similarly, the Nigeria Football Federation has expressed deep shock over the death of the coach of Lobby Stars. We are heartbroken about the death of coach Solomon Ogbede. Words are inadequate to describe the sense of loss. There was no doubt that he was among the very best in the country and even on the African continent, having led Lobby Stars to the group stage of this year's CAF Champions League competition. Our hearts go out to Lobby Stars Football Club and its management and staff, the Nigeria Football Coaches Association and the immediate family of Coach Ogbede, NFF General Secretary, Drive. Mohamed Sanusi, said on Tuesday. We pray that Almighty God will grant his soul peaceful rest and grant those he has left behind the fortitude to bear the loss. Sanusi added. Share this, let's block ads. Why?